Let's, let's, let's please. Let's. Come on. Just, just I really apologize get... if I do fuck this up. That's fine. We can get back. Slowly bait it. That's fine. Run, run, run. Oh, she was ducking. Boo! Get to get it and hit up. Get to it and hit up. Because that'll just end the level. That just ends the level. I don't think you have to hit up. I think you just got to get to the end. No, hit up. No, you just go. Oh, do you have to hit up? Where yes. do you hit up? Hit up by where? the cockpit. Oh, just to the right? Just hit up there. Somewhere. To right? Right? Where the thing is... Oh, right that there. works. All right. Hold on. We're coming up on their center. Assault on the... De oh, no. Hold Grand Moff Tarkin Angle. and Darth Vader will send a token force of TIE fighters Jeez. after him. While I charge up the main guns. Even a small force can be dangerous if you don't shoot straight and true. So it's the same as before, but now instead of asteroids, we're shooting fucking TIE fighters. Look. What am I... Hitting TIE it's fighters. It's like Missile Command. Kind of, I guess. Yeah, but why am I not Oh, but you them? can hit the green balls, I think, to just so you don't oh. take hits. I see. Yep. Okay. It kind of reminds me of, like, To the Earth. Yeah, oh, yeah, in a sense, but the, the fucking guns are terrible. Are they automatic? No. Oh. I mean, the aiming is, is god-awful. Yeah, it doesn't look great. I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay. I feel like can't even I can't tell... I can't hit them. I can't hit them. I can't even tell, like, what their bullets are. That green orb on the bottom. Yeah, I get that, but, like, it's hard to tell when they've shot. Come you know on. what I mean? Hit them. Come on, I hit it. You're, you're doing good, dude. No, I'm not. I'm dead. I know, but they're... Oh. Okay. I fuck. <sighs> yes, and use the continue. I I think he only had the one. I life. just had the one life. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, I suppose we will see. Actually, you're yeah, you're probably right. <clears throat> like I can't tell where your guns hit. I, that's what I'm saying. Like it's hard to tell. It's really fucking difficult. Okay. It says use the cannons to defend the ship against the TIE Fighter's green missiles. Shoot when you have an opening. Okay. I think you can do this, man. Nope. Ah. Get out of here. I oh come on. So when you hit the if you just hit the B button once, does it do that no, spread? I, no, if you just hold it. Just hold it. Oh. Maybe maybe button. just wait to shoot until you know what I mean? Because you're not like doesn't have, matter, I'm not wasting anything. No, but it, so you're not wasting your shots until you need, you know what I mean? I see what so you're saying. So you're not getting stuck at the situation where you can't shoot when you need to. I. It's not It's not really a, a, an issue. Yeah, I suppose that's true. They're, they're coming out fast enough, the bullets anyways. I'm dead. Fuck. I thought, Sorry, I, was, man. I, thought I was doing pretty fucking good that time, and it is a continue yeah, every fucking time. That's what I figured. Oh boy. Well then, I guess the next thing to uh, test out is um, if we can have more than eight shields. I somehow don't think so. Can you may have to help me identify some of these green balls because I am just I'm seeing them too late. Uh, I mean. Lower, lower. You're you're honestly probably seeing them the second I'm seeing them too. God damn it. Middle. Lower. Yep. Got. Okay. Okay. Cool. I swear to God, there are some. Sometimes I cannot react to these things fast enough. Ah. Uh. Left side. Yep. And sometimes the guns are like 
The guns are spot on and almost like really responsive for hitting these things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's like I feel like I'm spot on on them and I'm not hitting them. All right. Basically, where they like appear, where they appear is where the bullets are coming from. So middle. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Bottom. It almost feels Left. like it. It looks like it controls just as well as Captain Fucking Skyhawk. There. You're All done. right. Now what just happened? No. No. Oh. What the fuck was that? Down. Yeah. What was that? That was weird. I think the level was supposed to end. I was just about to say it was probably Top. supposed to end. This is bullshit. Left. There you go. Oh, yes. <sighs> okay, so now you're gonna do it again, but now you're gonna have R2D2 as a co-pilot and he can repair your shields. You're in the X-Wing now. Yes, so now you're gonna be in the X-Wing. I look like Anakin, little Anakin. All right, so that's the, so now you're gonna do it again. And then we're gonna be in the trench. You have to get through a gauntlet of defenses and a long trench to reach the Death Star surface. And then you have three torpedoes to launch into the fucking chute. But you're gonna basically do this again with R2-D2 helping you. Good fucking luck, dude. Oh boy. This now looks like Top Gun. Oh, my bullets can only go so far. Mm. Well, honestly, though, it looks like you can get out of the way of the shots. I don't know how you cause R2 to regen your shields, though. I think it's... Just, I, I don't know. It's okay, it's okay. you got another couple continues. Um, it's much, much harder. Yeah? It looks like things happen a lot quicker. Uh, let me see. X-Wing, uh, okay, just B fires the lasers. R2-D2 will generate a limited number of shields if he's with you. What does that mean? Of course he's with you. Unless you can hit select? No, select's not used, A's not used. It must just happen over time. Yeah. So it just must be over time he'll regenerate shields as long as you're not taking hits. Which is probably easier fucking said than done at this point. Oh my god, I'm doing so shitty. I can't believe I have to do this for like another 20 minutes. <laughs> I can't so this him. is what it's I like. I can't hit them. I can't hit them. They're like literally just out of my range. Can you keep an eye on my shields? Is, is R2 one. fucking doing anything? Let me see. I can't hit. I can't. There's, there was nothing I could have done about those. Jeez. Fucking hell. So basically, you cannot trust. R2 doesn't do shit for you. I guess not. <sighs> yeah. I. Fuck me. Boy, those fucking bullets come up quick. Half of them can hit you and you can't even stop them. <clears throat> yeah, damn it. Maybe you do have to hit select and have- I tried it. Select says that it does I nothing. I tried it and oh. it doesn't do anything. And pause just pauses. Fuck, R2! You wanna help? Fuck you, you Fuck. fucking useless droid! <sighs> Assault it's, on a Death Star? It's yeah. literally this and then the trench run. And then that's it. I don't know. 
You got us this far, dude. I just wish I had some fucking help from R2, which is what they said he does, but... You know what? I'm gonna try and cheat the system. Just keep holding up. Hold up. Yep. It's okay, except when the Well, bullets... if you can't reach it, try going, like, the other direction. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. But I've got to also hit the, uh... Yeah, I know. It's stupid, because you're right. It feels like you're getting hit by things that you can do nothing about. I want to hit the damn TIE Fighters! Nope, we're gonna fucking... Contra this shit. Spread. <laughs> Let's plow the fucking roads. This is it's weird that this is actually kind of it's working. It's sort of working. It's at You've least lasted a lot longer here than yeah. you did before. Yeah, R2 really doesn't uh, no. fucking regenerate shit, no, does he? No, he does not. Does A maybe? It's no, A does, A does nothing. Does nothing. Yeah. Select yeah, does it nothing. Doesn't, it doesn't make sense. God damn it. Yeah, like that one didn't you looked like you couldn't do anything about it. Cuz your fucking cursor doesn't go that far. That fast. Oh, he there just... was one. Wait, seriously? Yeah. It must be after certain intervals. Great. Thanks, R2. That's helpful. That's pointless. Oh, boy. Or unless you get so many, uh, you take out so many TIE fighters. God damn it. That's it. This is needlessly long. I mean, it follows the movie, I guess. But... Yeah. Shit. Oof. Come on, R2, come through in the clutch! Every time this... Fuck! <clears throat> it's 4.32. Yeah. Come on! What, oh, same what, thing that happened what, that last what, time. It what? happened to us last time, remember? Uh, I think it I think because we didn't destroy every TIE fighter, it's going through a reset. Oh, that might be. Where it's looping. Where it's looping. That's my thought. I don't know that. I because that like I said, that happened to us last time too. It's right? Still fucking unnerving as balls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very Any slowdown like that, especially when it when it freaks out on the edges, is that's my only thought about what that is. See, I he don't... blocked one without actually aiming at it. Did you see that? Oh, believe me, I've seen that the whole time. All right, we're finally back. With nine continues. Nine continues. Oh Son God. of a bitch. But at least you know... I, dude, I think you got this. You had a pretty good strategy last time, and now that you know the strategy of the crosshair with the guns, I think you got this in the bank. I should have been keeping track. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Sorry, everybody. This is gonna get quiet. Sorry. I'm so. I'm so sorry. I'm oh, so sorry. Fuck I'm, it. We are so fucking sick of this game. So fucking done with it. We just want to be fucking finished mm -hmm. and not have to ever come back to this game ever again. You know what? That's okay, dude. You know what the the crazy thing is is that I am a fucking humongous ass Star Wars fan, and even I just like. It's not that I detest this game. I do. It's just <laughs> that I really detest this game. Yes, it's bad. It's bad. Hit him. Honestly, I feel like if it gets to a point where you feel like you can't hit anybody, I gotta go, down. go away from them. Reset it. Yeah, reset it. Get them away from you because you're just chasing something that you're never going to hit. Uh, uh, that did, was bullshit. That, why did my bullets just stop? Well, not only that, but they shot one that you ended up veering into that you couldn't see. That was stupid. Man. It's all right. You're doing great. Shit. Shit. Nope. You're doing all right. I can't. I couldn't stop that one. Shit. Come on, R2. No! Fuck! It's okay. You know, R2 did not help try. me at all that time. <sighs> I 
It doesn't help, like, your bullets are, like, pretty much the same color as theirs. I can't tell whose are whose. No, they're different colors. <sighs> theirs are green, know. yours are red. You still really can't fucking tell. One second. Hold on. I got it. Yep, do what you gotta do. There we go. God, I missed him. Fuck! Gotcha, you fucker. God damn it! It's alright, dude. You're good. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ugh. Fuck. Nice. I'm... Uh, I swear to God, I'm hitting those fucking things. No. Why... I couldn't do anything about him. What? 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 <laughs> These bullets! I can't! I can't fucking do anything about him. You What's got that me. thing? He says I can't shake him. You can't <laughs> fucking. Uh, that's from Independence Day. Uh oh. <sighs> Come on. Oh. Well, you got one shield back. <sighs> this I can't tell if it's time based or hit based. I I don't know. I feel like I've hit, like, a healthy amount, though. I know, that's why it's weird. Like, I can't quite tell if this is just flat-out survive it, or if this is God take out a certain Fuck! amount. Fuck! Uh, nope. Fuck. Fuck! Ooh. Fuck! How long?! This is so stupid. It's alright, man. You still got a, got a few tries in you. I think we got this. I know we got this. Because you're doing better every time. Paul Trap! <laughs> We're ending this bitch. God damn it! Get down! Get down, you fucker! Okay, now it's all going to fucking hell in a handbasket. Which one? I didn't even see the one hit you! Oh, my thumb. My thumb is killing me. <laughs> You. All right. God, that's fine. Okay, cool. Why did it make that sound it's when a I shield coming back? I didn't. Right. No, I didn't have zero shields. No, before, he did didn't. I? Which was weird that it it's made that noise without giving. Oh, there's one. That was weird. That could be that, like, the out. time to notify you once coming. Maybe. So basically, don't fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> I've killed so many of these I fuckers. know. It's all right, man. Oh my God, please. Just cool. End. Just end. Nope. Nope, I don't think this is the run. Nope, this is the run. I think that's it. No. Come on, hit the fuckers! <sighs> Boom! Yes! Trench run now. Trench run, dude. Do not hit the walls. <laughs> Fuck. Trench run. Thumb. Would you like me to try trench run? 
Let me, you let do me, have help. One, let me have B, one. Okay, A is your proton torpedoes. To oh, launch. God. What the fuck was that? Oh. It's enemies. So uh, A will launch your proton torpedoes okay. into the, the, the uh, vent. Ouch. Into the vent. All right. Okay. But now I'm back to having lives. Okay, yes. cool. So B is Watch your... Watch out. Life. There's going to be that guy that comes yeah, up from the bottom. Yep, 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 yep. And he's going to get me. Ouch. Just be careful. Actually, what am I doing? That's maybe why. So when you see it narrow to the center, that's probably going to be the end. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Jedi reflexes! Okay. Are you fucking serious? That was the end! You can get there, dude. You got this! Get out of my way! Well... It's okay. This ain't the run. It's okay. <laughs> At least we have lives. Jesus that's the idea. Christ, man. We have lives. Damn. And that's a beautiful fucking thing, baby! Alright, so maybe not hug the bottom yet. Wait, give it a sec for that guy to God pop out. God damn it, dude! Okay. Now. Fuck. That's it. That's gonna be a little while. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You'll know this center's coming when you see like those things yeah. that stick out of the wall, like the one, the two, like this, this, and yeah. then, and then it's coming up. Yeah. Shit. Shit. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Hey, 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 hey! I did. I. And, and you I hit crashed. the wall. And I crashed. You hit the wall, and that you, you hit it too. It's did all I, right. You learned. Did I actually hit it? You hit it. Okay. Cool. At least I know it's that easy. And you have to make it into the middle in between. Yeah, you do. Oh, you have it. to be, like, centered. I got it. Yeah, I saw the movie. At least I'm pretty sure you hit it. <laughs> it looked like you hit it. I, I couldn't tell, but I'm assuming you hit it. I don't know. As soon as it gets to that spot, just start mashing, eh? That's why I was saying just, eh, 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 eh. You got three rockets and fuck them. You've got to Hug right. Hug right. Kidding me, dude. Quit trying to weave. Oh, wait. That's right. Fuck you. Yep, hit the wall. Fuck. I was like, hugging right helps because it's all gonna bottleneck into the center. Ah -ha! Use the force, Paul. <laughs> I was hugging the right when I shouldn't have. All, All right. right, that's okay. All right, I think this is it. I think you this got is it. it. I feel good. You I feel fucking good. Good. You should. Shit. Wow. Yeah, did they, you see what he did? Yep, he pushed you. Fucking rad racered me. What a fucking bitch. <laughs> Fuck off. Like he just did again. Hug it. Don't hug it yet. Don't hug it. It's after this one. Right okay, here. now, right? Hug it. Hug it. And then hug it. You're in. Right. Hey. Hey, 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 hey! Now survive the middle! Come on. Please don't boom, 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 baby! Don't jump! No, I can jump all I fucking want! Not how we see the end screen! This isn't like my house where the, where the whole floor could shake at but the basement! But every time you move, you generate static electricity. I don't fucking care, baby! Give us some medals. Give us some medals! No, fuck this game. Shut it off right oh now. Oh, my God. Oh... Good job on that one, Paul. It doesn't reset. Oh. In time. Holy my shit. Good fucking job, dude. No, oh, fucking you cars. fucking bastards. Final percent complete. Right. Suck it a hundred percent! Done. Which doesn't make sense because... Oh. It does, because if you get all the items and the upgrades oh, and shields... Oh, he did get everything? You got oh, okay. everything. I stopped paying attention once we had to start looping. Like, Fuck yes, times. dude. It's about fucking time! Yes. Just hit mute. Just hit mute. <sighs> Star Wars in the bank! Oh Completion time! Six hours. and a... Or eight and a half hours. <laughs> 
suck my dick. <laughs> That's a full work shift and overtime. <laughs> Eight and a half All hours. Right. You don't think they're like Star Wars anymore. <laughs> Thank you for joining the club on that one. <laughs> Maybe Andy didn't have it so wrong. <laughs> God damn it. Game 201. I can barely. Star <laughs> Paul's shaking. Wars. I can't put, yeah, I can't put the fucking thing in the. Box. You're shaking. Dude, I've been shaking for like two hours. <sighs> My chest has been killing me. Oh, man. Oh, Fuck yeah, dude. This game sucks dick! Just imagine me, I gotta watch it. <laughs> so, I, All right. have, I have very mixed feelings about this game. I, have I know very you mixed do. feelings. So Well let's let's do her the justice then. <sighs> Star Wars for the Nintendo Entertainment System, what do you give it for difficulty? First off, I have to say, who is the winner of this game? You know who the winner is? Fucking Nintendo Power. Thank you, Volume 28, for putting Star Wars as one of your features. That there. helped that a lot. That honestly helped immensely. Yeah. Even though it only gave you hints through the first, uh, through Tatooine. Yeah, basically Tatooine. Yeah, basically Tatooine. Um, but then it kind of gave you hints through the rest of the game, but it was invaluable. The winner, Nintendo Power. Yeah. Anyways. What a mess. Moving on to difficulty. This game is so hard to give a fucking difficulty for. It really is. Because, honestly, it has oddities where the game itself, even down to the shooting, believe it or not, even down to the shooting, it's so much easier than it, like, than it was initially because it had janky controls and it was hard to gauge where things were going, how things worked, and that's where a lot of the difficulty came from. However, it has to be stated, it took us eight and a half hours to beat this game. So I honestly could not give this game lower than like a seven or an eight. I might be leaning closer to the seven, but if I thought about it- Really? Well, if I thought about it, let me, let me think here. Well, no, well, never mind. Never mind. The randomness of some of the enemies and the bosses, I've, no, pumps it up to an eight. Sorry. I was kind of, I was kind of on the fence between the seven or eight as well. No, eight because of the randomness. I feel like, and we again for the hundredth time, we've always had this argument of do sloppy controls and sloppy programming make it difficult? Yes, in this case, I am willing to concede that. It did, because it's a platformer. It's a platformer. In this game, ladies and gentlemen, there is, with the exception of, like, getting to, like, the junk, the, like, the, 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 the junk monster, and then yeah. leaving the Death Star to do the shooting, that was the hardest part of this game. Because... You have the sloppiest mechanics. I mean, this is on par with like Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends, with how bad the fucking mechanics were. The jumping is unreliable. The shooting is unreliable. Damage is so variable. Why even have a health bar? Yeah. The health bar was the biggest flaw in this. Some things are taking away four pegs, some two, some one, some 15. You don't know. But. There is nothing in this game that's inherently hard. No. The enemy placements are not tricky. You fit you never face more than one enemy at a time realistically and they're so predictable and so easy. Yeah. Nothing is difficult. No. The battle of the game comes from the mechanics. And also too, I mean, like you said with the with the um the life bar the life bar became inconsequential because there were certain things that were attacking you or that you would get hit by where in one instance it would take four pegs of life. In another instance it would take half of your life. In an instance of walking into a stormtrooper, sometimes I would literally go from full life to like a quarter of my life. Yeah. Literally. Well, those lasers when you had to take out the generator. For the for the I don't, I don't know why one of one time the laser would take away four pegs of life and then another time it would take away my last half of half life. to three fourths. Yeah. 
It made no sense. It did. It, there was no there was no rhyme or reason to it. This game should have been a heart health system. You have three hits. Maybe throw a heart upgrade somewhere in there. Maybe two, but make everything take off one static heart. That should have been it. That should have been. That's all there is. Yeah. Not I have sixteen pegs. Eh, we can have some take off four, three, ten, whatever. You know, fuck them. <laughs> That would have been better. Anything would have been better than this fucking game. Yeah. Because they did terrible. I'm just... <sighs> Honestly, 8. 8 feels exactly where it needs to be. It's not... Once we learned it, it was not... <sighs> well, I mean, once you learned it, you got to the end, these end parts with all 10 continues. We did. So... Like, once you get over that learning curve of, like, knowing the level layouts and stuff like that, it's not bad, but, no. like, it just cheap shots you. The no, the no hit, or the no respawn was nice in certain areas. Some of the enemies don't respawn. Yes. Yeah. Which was huge. That really helped. Um, I don't know if we caught it on camera, but that pit, or not that pit, but that area of the Death Star where we were falling into that door, we did find out you can jump a gap on that level and avoid that fall We damage. kept thinking the pit was much bigger than We're it was. We're stupid. But I did complete it with a little bit of swagger and did realize that you could actually make that fall and go into the door you lucky on the bitch. fall. I did, was... that, I did that multiple times. <laughs> so I know it's not a fluke. Yeah. It is rare to happen. More, it's not a fluke. <laughs> more off. More often than not, you were taking the damage. Of course I was, but I'm saying I did that like three times. Yeah. And twice with Luke and once with Han, so I know that it was The funny thing is, there was a couple a of times where he took the damage while going into the door. Of course. So it, he was landing it, but the game was like, nah, you're taking the damage. <laughs> yeah, like, no, you're, you're gonna take this. Pretty sure this game was spiteful. Oh yeah, this game 100% Because every time something would go good, spite. it was just like, no, nah, we gotta correct that. No, yeah. that's not good. You got through that without taking damage, get shot in the foot. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly, like, 8 eight feels right, because there's nothing that's hard about this game. It's just that it's programmed probably by the worst programming team. This might, have well, might as well have been Radical. Which is so funny, because the game itself was created, it, it was not produced, but it was developed by Lucasfilm Games. Yeah. And I think you said something about Beam Software, too? Yeah, Beam Beam was in the opening credits. Oh, so Beam... Beam... Okay. Gotcha. Oh so, down. yes, we'll do that. So, we will jump to fun. What do you give this game for fun? So, Andy, what do you say? Is this game worth it? I, I fun. Don't, I don't want to do the fun. Fun is a one. I know for you it is. It's a one. The only reason I don't give it zero is, is because it's a one to ten scale. It, well, we 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 can do zero if the game it literally has zero redeeming factors. Like I I always bring up Athena. Athena has zero redeeming qualities. It's not good to look at. It's not good to listen to. It's not colorful. It's and it, it does not play well. There's no good story. The game is shit through and through. This gets a one. Because it's faithful to its source, for the most part. There, I mean, there were. I'm pretty sure that like a lot of the caves in the movie weren't there, and no. the the fucking taking out the tractor beam. Luke didn't do that. I don't think didn't Obi Wan. Obi Wan didn't. It was just basically just uh, he just shot the thing off, shutting down yeah. a lever. Yeah. <laughs> so like they did take a couple liberties for the sake yeah. of the game, but otherwise it was pretty damn faithful to what it was. Yeah. And that's the only reason I give it a one. There is. To me, no reason to play this fucking game. It's not fun at all. So, and I think that this is where we're not going to agree. Convince me. No, well, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to convince you. <laughs> but what I would, I would honestly give this game a three for fun. Suck my dick, you I know, stupid I know, bitch. I know. I'm going to give it a three. There's a lot to hate about this game. But honestly, <laughs> I'm going to start... With what I liked about it. Paul, three, Andy, one. Honestly. I'm splitting the difference. Honestly. So it's a two. The game itself is so faithful to Star Wars. I, I had to tip my hat to it. I loved that there was locales that were taken straight out of the game, or straight out of the movie. You had Tatooine, and yep. in Tatooine, 
that's where you met like Boba Fett, yeah. which is funny because it's not like they put him on the Death Star where it's like, uh, duh, he's not in the Death Star. There he's were in Tatooine. There were multiple Boba Fets, which was which was weird. No, there wasn't. The other ones were stormtroopers. There, uh, and they were talking about the guy that was flying around, right? Yeah, he was outside in the cantina. He yeah, was there was the like cantina. two or three of them that you came across. There was the one underneath that platform. Remember? I thought that those were stormtroopers. Those were though. not stormtroopers. Uh, remember, they had the homing bullets. They did. There were like two or three Boba Fets. Which well, either way, didn't make sense. he only showed up in Tatooine, which is That's accurate fine. to the movie. You had the Tusken Raiders, which looked great in the game. They actually did. They did. I'll give them that. The The graphics were, were, were great in that sense. Um, you had key scenes like, I mean, you did have... Going uh, to Mos Eisley. Yeah, going to Mos Eisley. They even had it down to the fact that you had to go into... Uh, Landing Bay 94, which is literally like that's the bay that they go to in the game. It's clever detail. So it's like, wow, to actually add in that level of detail in there, I had to tip my hat to that. Um, you had the Death Star run. You had the uh, the the X Wing. I almost wanted to say like after I beat the, uh, I, I was I was so pissed off and so happy that I finally beat it. I didn't even think to say it, but after I beat the X Wing or the Tie Fighters in the Millennium Falcon, I wanted to just scream out like, "Hey, I got him!" And then I wanted you to say, great kid, don't get cocky. <laughs> oh, because you've never seen Star Wars. He wouldn't understand. Oh, that. God. I only know it's a trap. Uh, actually, there is a version he would know. What's it? Blue Harvest, the Family Guy version. I haven't seen that. Where, oh, where Peter looks at him and says, don't get PC, kid. <laughs> don't get PC, <laughs> Don't get PC. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. But, I mean, there's so many... Like, it's so true to the movie. And and some of the dialogue is literally ripped from it. Even the uh, the opening crawl was yeah. ripped from it as well, too. Okay. So I appreciate that. The music, there were certain songs in there that were that were straight, like, from the movie, but remixed versions. Okay. Which I did like. However, the majority of the music sucked in this game. The Cantina one was the only good one. The Cantina one, you may not have liked Leia's Han Solo's theme. theme. I, I liked Han Solo's theme. I liked Leia's theme, too. Because they use those, and those were straight from the movie as well, too. So, I mean, you had you had quotes from C-3PO and, and Obi-Wan Kenobi that were taken straight from the movie. Yep. At the very end, when you beat the game, they do the fucking medal ceremony, too, which is straight out of the movie. Yep. So, I mean, there's a lot that I appreciate. We didn't even see Chewbacca. No, but we didn't see Jabba the Hutt, either. We didn't see, like, half of the characters. But, like, they reference Chewie in here, and I'm pretty sure he's in the instruction manual, too, in there. And he we never even been. see the cocksucker, the hairy bastard. Yeah. Well, he knew better than to be in this game. <laughs> so. I, I, well, like I said, I give it the points for its references, because it's very close to the source. But I definitely don't think those are worth two extra points of fun. So. Because the gameplay, which is the heart of the game... If you want these references, See, watch the movie. So here's so here's here's where I'm here's where I'm going with it though. Default, I'm sorry, this game is playable. It may be bad in Not certain much. points. It's playable. That gives it a one. <laughs> Some of the songs in there are are really good. I liked it. It's at two. I like that it's very, very closely like adapted from the movie. That makes it three. That's where it comes from. It does not get any more points from me for that. Than, than that. Because the game itself, it does look beautiful. I do like the, the color schemes in some of the levels. It does look detailed to the point to where it looked like you were inside the Death Star. I. You also have to give one more point for that Leia picture. Well, the Leia, Leia picture, <laughs> Leia picture <laughs> was in there too. But the backgrounds were not interesting. It was basically just palette swaps of the background. Well, All the caves some were of the, just different colors. And that's, and that's where I'm getting at, is that... But some of the caves and some of the sections Even of the, the Death, Death Star, Star just got so horribly repetitive yeah. because it literally was just palette swaps and it was just, they flipped the image, right. basically. And the shooting segments were entirely too long. Yes, they were. And they were the way fact too that long. there was no indication of how far you had to go made it stupid. If there was like a little counter that told you how many TIE fighters you had to take out, perfect. That simple little touch. Or if there was a bar saying like, like how long you had to actually yeah. go to, like to make it, I would have been just. There fine were just with that. little quality of life touches that would have made this game <clears throat> much more bearable. But the fact that you, while you bring up a lot of good points, there are way too many glaring flaws because at the end of the day, 
Yes, the game's playable. Eight and a half hours, though, that's rough. And it was barely playable. Like, we've... I want to say we've almost played worse. And I think we've given them... Well, no, we've usually given ones. Yep. Uh, but def it's by no means a three. Because music kind of can fall into the reference idea. I'm okay with it falling into that the at the difference of two. I but, think we can split I'm not the difference going, at yeah, two. But I'm not going lower, in my opinion, than a three. Because I can see where you're coming from, and I, I will... I will I think let's let's split the difference. Let's make fun of two. I can live with that. Because <clears throat> while you're looking at it as a fan of the movie, mm -hmm. I'm looking at it as just a fan of the game. The game sucks yeah. dick. There's no way... I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat... This game fucking sucks balls. This should never be in anybody's system. It's terrible. It does not play well. It doesn't look great. It doesn't sound great. <laughs> It should have been a clue when the system rejected it at the beginning. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> that we'd spent a half hour just trying to get the damn thing to work. Yeah, that's true. It was trying to protect us. So, I mean, maybe that's... I, I, I'm i okay with a two, I guess. That's that's fine. Okay. Because uh, we gave Cats and Planet and the Planeteers a two. I would rather play that. No. Elevator no. Action was a two. I no. would rather play that. I would that. rather play this than... Daydream and Davey, we gave a three. Oh, I would rather play that. That game's good. This this was on par with Daydream. Adventures of Tom Sawyer, we gave a three. I would rather play that. <laughs> now you're just making stuff okay. up. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, <that's> yeah. <laughs> all right, enough. so what did you pay for Star Wars? So for Star Wars, I got this at a Midwest Gaming Classic. I think it was one of the earlier ones that we ever went to. Um, and I paid for it. I got it complete with the box and instruction booklet, and I paid 20 bucks for it. 20 bucks, huh? Yeah. Box complete. That's, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, as of this video, according to PriceJarney.com, loose, just cartridge, $19.13. Yeah, and complete, it's about $47, so, yeah, I paid a little bit less than what it's worth now. So. I'm gonna go on a limb, this is not worth it. So I am only gonna give one caveat as to if it's worth it, is that if you are a fan of Star Wars... That I would say yes. Then maybe you could pick it up just for the nostalgia of yeah. playing it, trying it out, but if you are seriously considering wanting a game to play that you're going to enjoy this is definitely not worth it look elsewhere it's especially for tw for 19 dollars for yeah this is by for no means to 20 bucks you're not no mm -mm. i would probably go as high as five for yeah. this if, if you're looking for a game to play for fun five dollars that's the highest i would pay for this yeah that's all it's worth but like i like you had said if if you're a big fan of this series and the reference like aspect or, of it kind of like how we like die hard or even a collector yeah. for any ass yeah or a collector for ness i suppose yeah Nineteen dollars isn't bad. I mean, that's cheap according to you know for a lot of games nowadays. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I would say this is not worth it for the experience. No, by no means. I mean, I don't even want to watch the movies anymore because of this. I feel like I lived the movie, all eight hours of it. This was basically the uncut Lord of the Rings fucking suck your dick edition, and that's Actu what this was. Actually, those movies all together are like. 13 to 14 hours for the extended disgusting <laughs> <laughs> so that'll do it eight for difficulty two for fun it is not worth it for the casual person at 19 dollars and 13 cents yes if you're a collector or you like star wars and you just want to say uh, satiate your star wars boner whatever the fuck i don't i'm done right. after eight and a half hours i'm fried dude go you must hmm <laughs> so hit us up on facebook hit us up on twitter go to powertripgaming.tv takes you directly to the channel watch our other 200 games that we've tackled thus far <sighs> happy 201 happy 20 fucking one this was this was a 50 50 pick on my point you're no longer allowed to pick for a while i yeah, hope you're... not stop me if i do <laughs> yeah. uh if you don't want to message us on facebook or twitter uh, you can always email us at nespowertrip at gmail.com. I read the emails that would, as they come in. We would love to hear from you. We definitely would love yep. to hear from you guys. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And share us to people you believe would enjoy the pain. And check out our PTG Powercast, where we talk about video games and other stuff. Just yes. iTunes or Stitcher. On iTunes or Stitcher. Other podcasting platforms. And with that, next time on Power Trip, we'll play something better. This time it's not a lie.
It's not a lie. Something better we must play. I'm gonna say is that log had a child. <laughs> <laughs>